How could this happen? Thornhart and Marty are a thousand miles away camping, millions of miles from the nearest alibi. Alex sees me from the, from the boat. I'm on the dock in Poetry Boy's outfit, and she thinks that I'm Patrick. They split, and it's a, it's a snap to rig the bomb. But could things stay nice and simple for me? Never are. No. Everything in my life always comes back and kicks me in the head. In the last minute, Armitage comes strolling back to the gangplank. I mean, literally, in the last minute. Hello. Well, close. I told him to get off the boat. What else was I going to do? I don't want to kill anybody. Just wanted to blow up the damn boat. Only he just stands there like an idiot. So I tell him again to get off the boat. But he doesn't move. Until the bomb goes off and... him and... A thousand tons of splinters just go flying into the sky. Get off the boat! I didn't say that. You understand? And if you say that again, you're... you're... parrot pot pie. On to another guy whose plans got screwed up, Drew Buchanan. That's what I can do. I can, I can rent, write this article, I can file it. That, that'll make it look like I had something to do tonight. Thank you, Dorian, wherever you are. You might have just kept me afloat. Only he hadn't gone back to the boat. How is he? Well, he's so severely burned. This might be expected. He's got internal injuries from the impact. But the doctors seem to think there's a chance to save him. Thank you. Hmm. I, I just don't understand this. I'm barely recovered from, from Carlo's death, and now I feel like I've been singled out to endure a second disaster. I've had yet another magnificent, powerful man stolen away from me. You need to relax, Alex. All my life, all I've ever wanted is to give myself to someone, to share whatever is in me. And I met Guy, and he was alone. And he needed... Just the right woman's touch, and I could have provided that for him, and I would have. And then this big, horrible fireball just comes and ruins everything. It's not fair. Some things just can't be explained. Well, is that it, or am I being punished? No, it's it's not any kind of retribution from God. You know, guy might recover. Let's let's just. Try to focus on that. I'm going to uh, call home, check on River. Okay. Okay. Let's cross off Act of God for a minute and consider what mortal might have done this. You, for instance. Now you're sounding like Detective Andy Harrison. Alex, Bo and Andy will be here any second, so just answer one question for me, yes or no. Did you know about or have anything to do with this explosion? No. Ian, I don't know if it's any comfort, but I did give Guy last rites on the dock. <laughs> comfort? I, I can hardly tell. This evening's gone from music to madness. We were at Club Indigo when Bo called. <clears throat> it was a celebration. Of what? Freedom. I finally told my father that he was <laughs> anything but. So the deed is done. Oh, come on, you make it sound like murder. What exactly happened? Well, I can tell you, Guy finally got what he so richly deserved. Well, it's a bomb. You're serious? Yeah, that's where all the evidence is pointing. So, uh, excuse me, I gotta finish up this story. Hey, um, how's your father, by the way? Well, actually, uh, guy... Hold on, he's not my father, my dad, my papa, or any other paternal noun. He's a, a patient, etherized on a table, and I'm a, a numb stepchild. Ian! No, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I realize I probably should feel sorry for the man, given our history, but quite frankly, I don't. Not at all. So sad, a man who can't feel. Where's your other half? 
Excuse me? Your teammate. Where is she? On to another project or another partner? Oh, of course, for Cassie, that might be the same thing. I have a story to finish. What's wrong? What happened? What's wrong? Oh, I obviously woke you up. Well, no, that would mean that I'd have already been asleep, but, uh... You all right? Yeah. You gonna share that? Yeah. Is Kevin here? No. No, he's, um, off covering some explosion. He'd be out most of the night. And then Blair called. She, she called? Yeah. That's why I can't sleep. Uh, she's okay. Just physically, just, um, depressed. She's, uh, worried that she won't be able to take care of Star. She's afraid she won't ever walk again. Oh, Cassie, don't say that. W well, those were my words to her exactly, but, Kelly, that is a reality that Blair may have to face. Oh, God. Seems like it's been a tough night for all the Kramer cousins. I have a confession to make. feel as if I've been totally out of touch lately. Is there any way that I can change that? Other than maybe, uh, bribe you? Please forgive me, Cassie. For what? That, uh, sacking up comment you made the day I crept down the stairs? Cassie, oh, come on. <laughs> I understand why you made it. Guess what? You're right. I am shacking up with Kevin. So see, no need to apologize. No, there is. For something else I did. For something much worse than I have ever done before. And you might even be sick at the fact that I'm your cousin. the brutal part having to see the faces of all the people I really care about when I tell them tell them what not that I have a choice right now El Hayes is gonna print the story would have been in the banner by now if he hadn't held off long enough so I could break the news Kelly you're starting to scare me don't be scared Bo knows I just came from his house I'm lucky I'm not in jail although if I was, I wouldn't be here having to tell you. No, no, honey, tell me what? Remember that evening I got Joey's letter? Yeah, that was the night of Blair's accident. I was standing right there when I read it for the first time. <sighs> After I came to see you, I went driving around in the rain, crying. I made it worse by listening to La Vie en Rose. Full blast. I wanted it worse. And I got it. How? Oh. I lost control of the car. I went across the center line. Another car was coming my way. And I was heading straight for it. At the last second, it swerved so that it wouldn't hit me. And then I heard something. Oh, no. There was a screech of tires, and then a big crash. I looked in the mirror when I stopped, and then I drove away. I drove away from Patrick and Blair, whose little baby Brendan was inside of her. I drove away, Cassie. Blair was crippled, and Brendan was dead, and Star almost might die, too. All because I had to cry and drive away. Only I couldn't get far enough down any road to forget about it. But Cassie, I'm trying to come back now. Not to fix anything that I did.
I promise you, I, I can never do that. I just, I have to learn how to get along in a world that will never be the same for any of us. But I can't do this alone. And I need your help. So these two hardcore night owls start jamming. Now mind, it's three in the morning, all right? At four o'clock, they're still going at it. And five o'clock rolls around, and six o'clock, then the sun comes up. The tenor man, he looks out the window, he says, man, what the hell is that? <laughs> I just wish the music weren't over. Gosh, it just feels like we just got started. Yeah, well, you know, speaking of night owls... Oh, uh, you'll just have to come back tomorrow. Hmm? Oh, why wait till tomorrow? My boys are still in back. We can play a few more tunes. Look, y'all sit tight, all right? Well, how about a pot of coffee? No, thanks, sweetheart. I do plan on getting some sleep tonight. Okay. <laughs> what amazes me, you're giving up any of your precious shut-eye just to hang out with us, let alone closing down the place. Well, well it just sounded like a good idea. All right, what is the smile about? I, uh, <laughs> I was just remembering what you used to look like when you'd rack out. <laughs> well, like anybody would asleep. No, 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 brother. You had this silly choir boy smile on your face, your arms wrapped around the pillow. Man, you never looked that happy awake. Now, me, I'd be awake and running around 24 hours a day if I could. Yeah, right. To do what? Live! Make things happen. I mean, you can't do squat with your eyes closed. Besides, you never know what'll turn up in the dark. No, I don't trust what I can't foresee. Mm hmm Yeah, well, that's funny, because I don't trust what I can. I mean, you know, when I was playing ball, I remember the helmets looking in my direction whenever they needed a, a score late in the game. Well, you know, hey, give the ball a hang. He'll catch it. <laughs> Our hero. Yeah. Well, you know, I had to catch more than just a football. I mean, it got old hearing your number call out every time. Maybe that's why I like to sleep. Okay, hold on. You lost me, Captain. Well, I mean, you know. I mean, no one needed me there. I mean, I didn't have to worry about dropping the ball. I was free, man. I mean, and I was happy. But being here is even... Even better. I mean, I'm happy <laughs> and I'm awake. <laughs> hmm. Well, uh, Rachel, she's reaching a pretty nice place right about now, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Just like her uncle RJ. Hi. Oh, hold on, sweet thing. Look, I am with someone tonight, all right? So take your damn hands off me. Let's. I guess you didn't hear the lady, but I did. Oh, oh, oh you don't like it when you're the one that gets grabbed, huh? I just thought the lady would like to party. Party! RJ, RJ, stop! Stop! Look, the lady does not party. You don't either. Not in my club. Right here. Now, what have we here? I bet you know. I'll show you right. It's nothing. <laughs> Unless you dig ground glass with your blow. That's cold, man. No, no, no. You got off. Easy. Now, you spread the word. Drugs are no go at Indigo. Now, I rhymed it so you could remember. This will help you remember, too. Uh, Rachel, I'm really sorry about that, all right? Look, you can't install a creep detector at the front door. Just thank you. Look, maybe we should save that bonus set for uh, another time, all right? It's late. Besides, you can't, you can't beat that. I'm cool to move on to the next thing. Right. Are you ready to get out of here? Yeah. Sure. Um, thanks. Uh. Thanks. 
Good night, sweetheart. 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 Good night, Good night, sweetheart. 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 Good night, Get off the line real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Just call it my Rachel reflex. When Rachel's in trouble, I'm, I'm there. Yeah. You know, you've come a long way, RJ. Oh, what's that? A quote from the inside of your fortune cookie at the lunch special today? Well, no, I, I mean, I just mean how you're keeping your club drug free. That's all I was really impressed with. Uh, as opposed to being impressed if, say, Nora decided to nick pot at the office or Antonio said no to smack at the diner. No, but you wouldn't be surprised about that because you expect them to be straight shooters, right? I mean, it's natural for them, but not for me, even though you know where I come from and where I am now when it comes to drugs, right? But you still feel the need to give me a gold star for being a good boy. Man, you really are asleep. <laughs> My client was not, repeat, not convicted of Carlo Hester's murder. And the fact that she was with Guy Armitage when this explosion occurred means nothing. Is that a disclaimer? A reminder. God forbid we think of Alex as a suspect. But that's why I called you. They're completely prejudiced. Now, why does there have to be a suspect? I mean, maybe this was an accident. Considering the fact that the explosion happened above the mm. water line and the electrical and the fuel systems were not involved, forensics has uh, hypothesized that a bomb is to blame. Ah, hypothesized. Mm. The fancy word for guessed. Oh, come on, Bo. You'd have better luck taking me out for coffee than you would questioning my client any further based on what you've got. In fact, it would be easy, the, the coffee part. Guy was wounded long before his boat erupted. We are not I'm saying sorry, anything else. Yeah, yeah, but someone has to speak on Guy's behalf, and it might as well be his friend. How was he hurt? His son broke his heart when he made an announcement that he was not really Guy's son, and instead of just breaking the news, which was painful enough, he tortured Guy with it. Mocked me like a dope and a fool, he said. It was a public emasculation of the man who had taken care of him, supported him, and nurtured him all his life like a real father. Mm. And this happened when? This evening at Rhodey's. The guy vowed that he was going to disinherit him, but obviously he didn't get a chance to do that before he was... before he was struck down. Or that he would. Mm. That's why tonight, I mean, I heard Ian insist that he absolutely had no feelings for Guy. I mean, see for yourself. Does, does that look like a man who is overwhelmed with concern? Well, thank you very much for your cooperation. And uh, you can go home now, if you want. And leave Guy alone with his life hanging in the balance? No, thank you. Why don't you run Alex's uh, story past E and see if it jives, okay? I'm gonna double check with forensics. Gotcha. Things are just about wrapped up for the ministers and the lawyers in the crowd. Yeah. Can I walk you to your car? No. I think I'll stay a while. This actually beats what it interrupted. Which doesn't say a lot for what you were doing before. Yeah. I was at Club Indigo watching my roommate go deeply gaga over a hunk and a half. Ouch. Mm-hmm. Stay a while. You know, I had a very interesting visit from a friend of ours, Kevin, just before all this happened. Came by to plead his case about how much he loves Cassie, and you know how much I love to hear that. <sighs> anyway, I guess he's occupied for now. It's safe to go home. Yeah, I've never been big on safety, and you know, I'd rather stay up and work than go to sleep alone. You just drove away. Maybe that's what I should do now. Before the story comes out, before Do Bo does anything. But I'd have to live with the nightmares. Yes, you would. Cassie, I, I have to stay. I have to stay so that I can make it up to everybody if I can. At least I should try. 
But if you won't look at me, then what is Blair going to do when I tell her? I thought Joey's letter was difficult. Well, I read that too, you know. That night, you brought it over to my house to ask me for my advice. It was a family thing. I was leaving him. But what you did tonight took a thousand times more guts. What it really took was no haze. How do you mean? He knew about Drew. Drew found out the whole thing. He figured it out. <sighs> Mel found out that, um, Drew was blackmailing Dorian. Blackmailing? Drew wanted Dorian to sell Melador's warehouse to Asa. She said that he would tell the police about the accident and it being all my fault. So you're saying that my mother also knew that you were the driver of that car? Yes. She didn't want me to tell anyone. Because? She said no one would ever forgive me. That manipulative vampire. She was protecting me. No, honey, no. No, she wasn't. She was protecting herself. She didn't want you to tell anyone. It's because she didn't want to look bad. She didn't care that you were in pain, Kelly. All she cared about was that you not make waves for her. Drew was just as bad. He paid off the phone guy to erase the 911 tape I made after the accident. Uh, uh, as if things weren't bad enough. Cassie, this is a mess. The whole thing is, is a complete mess. I hurt people. People hurt me. Mel was the only one that really helped me out. You know, I, I thought that he and Dorian were perfect for one another. But I think I ruined that, too. No, 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 no. My mother doesn't need any help shooting herself in the foot. She's still mad at me, Cassie. <laughs> you stay here. Really? <laughs> Thank you. I don't have a ton of friends right now. I'm a little light in that department myself. The way you make it sound, uh, good old Ian really wouldn't care if God blew up. Well, it's possible. That's what I'm I am gone for the two seconds it takes to buy a cup of the worst coffee in the world, and you're on my client like a barnacle. Oh, I really don't mind, Taylor. See? Besides, it's my job. Oh, well then, obviously you've forgotten how I do my job. No questions, no interviews, no exceptions. Is this the hardline professional? Or emotional? Don't flatter yourself. All I care about is my client. Then why stop me? I mean, the more I can print about bad blood between Ian and Guy, the more it takes the focus away from your all-important client. This is undrinkable. Oh, go ahead, print your story, okay? I'm too late anyway. Mm -hmm. Can we please find a decent cup of coffee? 
sure. You know where to reach me. Twins? Oh, wow, well, that's a pretty strange way to meet a potential member of your family. Yeah, well, it's been a pretty strange day. Yeah, actually, I'd kind of like to hear more about it. Uh, specifically, your argument with your, with, with Guy uh, at Rhodey's. I simply told him the truth. And then after Rhodey's, the three of you went to Club Indigo? Mm hmm To celebrate the, the opening of my cage, my uh, delivery from evil. So you can imagine Ian's feelings being all jumbled, you know, high, low. Yeah, I'm afraid um, I've, I've got some more questions I'm going to have to ask here. I'm sure you do, but I suddenly had the feeling that uh, honesty may not necessarily be the best policy here. Bug-eyed and dumbstruck doesn't suit you, brother. What did I say? Uh, Hank, I've told you a million times, and Nora another million, I don't do drugs. Don't do them, deal them, touch them, or tolerate them anywhere at any time. Yeah, and when you back that up, I just... Look, you made me proud, and I, don't, I wanted to say that. That's all. Why do you have to be proud? Because it still surprises you. But I, I don't need your little pats on the head, your indulgent smiles. I want nothing. No response. How I handle drugs should be just a part of the way the world runs. Like, like the seasons or gravity. And until it's a given, don't expect me to give a damn whether you're proud or not. What are you going to do, keep my sins alive forever? Excuse me. Yeah. What? When? All right, listen, just, just hold tight, all right? I'll, I'll be right there. Right. Listen, Archie, that was Bo. A, a yacht blew up. It was a bomb, and it looks like Guy Armitage was hurt. Mm -hmm. So you want to arrest me now, or you're going to come after me later? You know what? Mama always said that you held on to things too long. Maybe you're the one who can't let your mistakes die, RJ. She was only asleep. I want to hear it. That funeral hall was full. It said stop. Sixteen years old and gone. Drugs, they said, like one word explains it all. But it doesn't. I don't need to hear You sit still. Now, where did Charlene get those drugs? Who gave her that poison that killed her? I don't know. She was your girl. I don't know. Liar! First gold bracelets and then silver powder. I ain't give her nothing. You killed that child just as sure as if you'd drawn a knife across her throat. Mama, don't say that. Were you there, Randall? Were you there? Were you there when she took what you gave her? Did you see her eyes get glassy and roll up in her head? That was my fault. I once had a son, Randall. But no more. Henry, right? I mean, it's only ever been Henry. I will have no murderer up under my roof. Now you go. Maybe the good Lord will forgive you, but he knows that I can't. I didn't mean for Charlene to die. Oh, it was an accident. I swear it. I don't know too many club owners who lose it over a gram of party powder in their joint. <clears throat> What's the story with that? What's the story with uh, your sandwich? Is it okay? It's fine. It's great. Well, don't you get your hopes up too high. Ham and Swiss cheese is pushing my culinary envelope. Well, I'm not interested in what you can do in the kitchen. Was there something wrong? There was, um, this past year. I was in some pretty serious trouble. I needed a lot of help. 
protection, too. From who? Myself. See, that's the thing with RJ and my dad. Um, they'll do anything to try and keep me safe. It doesn't work that way. No. See, it's up to me to take care of myself, especially when I'm shaky. Well, are you shaky now? A little. New guy. Great guy. I'm feeling a little exposed right now. And I don't have my old hiding place anymore, you know. It's one of the things I learned this past year. But then it's been a good year. Tell me what you want to do. Take it slow. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not big on fast myself. Well, except with the sax. <laughs> be a thrill to scoop the banner, especially their hotshot reporter, Mel Hayes, but now I got my own body count to deal with. Leave it to me to turn Guy Armitage into the richest corpse in the world. Briggs. Mr. Manning? No, it's Little Mary Sunshine. Everything clear with that Drew Buchanan article? Seems to be. Oh, do you hear about what ha happened to Guy Armitage? Uh, n n no, what, what happened? Well, there was a huge explosion on his yacht. He was nearly killed. Nearly? He's alive. Well, so far. Well, I, it must be bad, right? I mean, he couldn't be, be conscious. Uh, I mean, not after such a big explosion, right? Well, I don't know. Last we heard, he was still in the surgery. Okay, listen, I want you to run the Drew Buchanan article, and I'll take care of the Armitage thing later. But the man survived. This is a major story. Yeah, no kidding. You know, Vicky would say that my life is in a meat grinder because I'm the one with the hand of the crank, and that is garbage. I just can't get a break. Especially when I need one now, bad. And that bomb was meant for the boat, not the Brit. And it's Armitage's fault that he got sinned. She's the one that went back on the boat. Ah, boom! Only I'm the one that's gonna get nailed because I'm the one that he saw. And this is how he pays me back. I try and save the guy's life. And what does he do? He lives. What am I going to do, huh? Have any answers? Glamps us. <laughs> Got any other suggestions? Go ahead. You turn your back on me. You don't have to worry about anything. You didn't blow anybody up. I did. Well, I gotta go make sure that nobody else finds out about it. Ian, you are free. All the secrets are out, so don't hold anything back. Even if it could be used against me? You told Guy the truth. Just, just stick with that. You can't go wrong. Did I hear somebody say go wrong? Why don't you relax, reporter boy? There's no story here, okay? Ian. Hi. Hi. Look, I know this was a shock. I'm sorry. Thank you. Oh, what I miss? Oh, nothing. The uh, great inquisitors have just arrived. Well, it's been confirmed by forensics. There's no question. The yacht was bombed. Hmm. That's no real surprise. No. No, I mean, Guy Armitage was loathed around the globe. God knows how many people wanted to have him killed. No, I mean, he, he certainly made no effort to hide his opinions or his whereabouts, for that matter. 
That's true. So what do you say we just wrap this up so I can get on with my um, hunt for the real suspect? Fair enough. Okay. I know that the three of you were together at uh, Rody's, right? Now, were, with you, were you with Ian straight through from this argument there to the um, celebration at Club Indigo? Yeah, pretty no. much. Which is it? It's no. We, we, just, we went back to the house for maybe an hour. Yeah, I'll put Al and the twins to sleep. Okay, and um, what were you doing at that time? I put myself to sleep, actually. Went back to the hotel for a nap. Okay, is there anybody who can confirm that? <laughs> Unless you can uh, divert this conversation to a more innocuous subject, such as uh, the cultivation of violets or perhaps the uh, price of cheese, I don't think we'll be able to continue. Until you get yourself a good lawyer. Exactly. Did I just hear a non-confession confession? No comment, Kev. Okay, and there'll be no comment in the banner either. Now, you understand? Mm -hmm. This can't be as open and shut as it seems, can it? Todd, glad you're here. Yeah, this is going to be a barrel of laughs. So what's the story? Armitage out of surgery yet? Still no word yet, but I can tell you that his yacht was definitely bombed. And Ian's the primary suspect. Ian? Oh, wow, that, that would be a, a real shocker. Are you the next of kin? Well, not anymore, but um, please go on. Doctor, hello. I am Alex Olanoff, Guy Armitage's advocate. Self-defined. Yes. Um, please, what's the news? Well, the patient received third-degree burns over 60% of his body, and his uh, lungs were severely damaged. We did repair the internal damage. He made it through the surgery, and his vital signs have stabilized. So he's alive. Oh, I want to see him. Well, I'm afraid the anesthesia hasn't worn off yet. Uh, he should be awake by morning. All things considered, I'd say he's a very lucky man. about him after all. You have no idea how I care about him.